Hello, good evening and welcome back again. I guess it's a, we're doing another Cars the Star. Uh, a drive around at North Shore in a very interesting car. Something that's grabbed my interest or something that you guys have asked me to whip around. It's a blind lap. The car's stock straight from the shelf, straight to the track. Uh, no no tune-ups, no settings changes. And uh, yeah, it's me. Admittedly, not going super fast because I, I don't want to embarrass myself and spin it. The, the aim is to get the car from point A to point B and uh, keeping my pride intact, although slowly. But let's have a look. What car are we doing? It's the Toyota Supra GT500 1997. What an absolute legend of a car. Classic. So, a little bit about the Toyota. It's engine code if you want that, if you're into that sort of stuff. 3S GTE 171F. Its aspiration is turbocharged. Displacement is 2 litre. Engine type is inline 4. The power is 492 brake horsepower. Uh, with, uh, I'm not going to talk. And it's got a 6 speed gearbox. The layout is front engine. The drivetrain is rear wheel drive. This one weighs 2,535 pounds, 1,150 kilograms, which I think that's significantly heavier than the... Oh, look at me, I'm off the road. Shocking. Um, the performance is top speed, should be 177 miles per hour, or 284.9 kilometers an hour, like the old way. Uh, the PP for this in GT5 slash 6 was 582, but the performance points, so I say, in GT7 is 711.7, .7, and it's part of the Group 3 class. I mean, it's just over 4.5 metres long, it's just under 2 metres wide, and it's, it's just it's a metre and some change in height. The Toyota Supra GT500 97 is a race car produced by Toyota. It appeared in Gran Turismo 5, Gran Turismo 6 and Gran Turismo 7. The car is number 36, driven by Michael Crum and Pedro De La Rosa. Winners of the GT500 Drivers' Championship of the 1997 JGTC season. This is reflected by the name it had in the PlayStation 3 era games, Toyota Castrol Tom's Supra 97. The machine that ended the reign of GTRs and became champion. The GT Race Series in Japan was renamed the Super GT when it became an international series from 2005. Until 2004, it was called the All Japan Grand Touring Car Championship (JGTC), and from its start, from its start, it boasted the largest number of spectators for a motorsport in Japan. For this reason, Japanese automobile. Uh, manufacturers poured much energy into the champion this championship series. The Toyota Supra entered the championship in 1994 and it was like a direct challenge against the Nissan GTR that had dominated the series three years in a row. From the first year of the championship in 1993, three years later in 1997, the Supra finally defeated the GTR to become series champion. The historic machine that achieved this feat was the number 36 Castrol Toms Supra. The drivers were Michael Crum, Cal Crum probably, and Pedro de la Rosa, and they entered as the second machine of the Toms from the second round of the, that year. In the five rounds, excluding the opening round, it became strong, winning its first place twice and placing once in both second and third place to win the series. The machine itself had not only changed greatly from the previous year, the only significant difference was the change from the H-pattern gearbox to a Hewland six-speed sequential transmission. Other than this, the engine displacement had been lowered to two litre in order to allow for a lower minimum weight under the race regulation rules. The 3S GT engine producing nearly 493 brake horsepower is almost as is, and its increased body rigidity, rigidity changes in suspension geometry and improvements in aerodynamics 
are all in the standard evolutionary process of a racing machine. And I tell you now, this car is an absolute legend. And it was, it was fun to drive, it was great. There was some negotiation in the corners. It was like a friendly wrestle, like a wrestle you'd have with a cousin that you know that's not gonna lead to anything. It, it, it wasn't a fight as such, just a little tussle in the corners but oh my god oh look at that front end jump up it, it was so much fun i had a smile from ear to ear it was just driving I, I don't think this is when box involved this is very strong in the group threes i'm not sure i'm not down with all of these things i don't see it when i've done dailies this car is not something i see that regularly running at the top but who am i to say i may be wrong but my good golly gosh what fun drive it is it, it was it, uh, i don't know it just it, it, it felt like the essence of what racing should be it was a car from a bygone era that knew what racing was the racing was still all about power and grip and my gosh this car has got an abundance of grip i could have gone so much faster i believe i i i wheelied out a lot of the corners I didn't have the faith, but this car is crazy fast and it is beautiful to drive. It really is. It was, it was, it was helping me around the track rather than me and I driving it. I, I can't say enough good things. I think it's about 1.8 million credits when it comes around in the Legends, but I think everyone's got one anyway because if you pre order GT7, this came in the, the bumper car pack. So uh, most people have got this, and if you if you don't have it, 1.8 million, you're probably not going to race it in in much. I have heard it can be useful in a couple of things, but sorry, go buy it. What the hell? It's not real money. There you go. That's the Toyota Supra GT500. So there you have it, and surprisingly, it's not beat the Subaru. So I lose all all hope in performance points but there we go toyota supra gt 597 a 713.6 on the nose just just under three tenths slower than the the subaru wrx sti isle of man yeah i suppose in comparison the subaru did feel lighter it, it felt nippy it, you know it felt like it was on its toes like a ballerina where the toyota i suppose felt like uh, one of the stomp cast members maybe but I'm still surprised if the Toyota felt a lot faster what's going around. So, yeah, and I, I had an off with the Subaru, so that's a shocker. Shocking. Already. This is interesting. See, it's worth doing. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share it, and all of that business that YouTube get really off on and, and, and makes me famous, please. Um, what else? Yeah, in the chats, please. Drop it in in the chat. What what car you'd like to see me going around in? I'm not going fast. I know. I know. I'm not pushing the 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 the, the edge. I'm I'm just trying to get round without spinning. In all fairness, so these times are easily should be easily beatable if you have skills. If you've got mad skills, you'll be beating them like by minutes. All right, Turu. Peace and love. Peace and love.